The death of Colin Powell has put a spotlight on breakthrough cases of COVID-19. The 84-year-old died of complications from the virus, even though his family says he was fully vaccinated. The reason this is getting so much publicity is, first of all, he was a national figure, but also because it's so rare. Dr. Catherine Troisi with UT Health says General Powell's age and health battles made him especially high risk. He battled multiple myeloma, which is a form of blood cancer that suppresses the immune system. Dr. Troisi is concerned Powell's death may cause some to lose confidence in vaccines, but she says this reinforces their importance. One of the reasons um, we get vaccinated I mean, one reason is to protect ourselves, of course, and probably the main reason, but we're also protecting those who can't be vaccinated or who don't respond to the vaccine as well. Powell's longtime chief of staff told CNN he was scheduled to get a booster shot last week, but he got the virus before he was able to. Of all people to die, Colin Powell, right? Okay. I'm out of here. Yeah, fuck you. But I hope you have a good snap next time you snap. Uh, fucking Colin Powell, of all people to die, is the one that you can't put architect of the Iraq war, enabler of the Iraq war, in any good faith out onto the internet without being absolutely full of fucking shit and proving that you do not research anything beyond what makes you feel good about your positions. And Stephen, do you know what happened? I wake up Eastern time, right? So I'm already awake. So when Colin Powell's death is announced, I was fucking there. And I said, watch, today's going to be full of people saying stupid fucking shit. And you know what, Stephen? Mm -hmm. Fucking disappoint. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the end of my thought. Well, did you go have any big debates with anybody about it? No, because they're all fucking stupid. So why not go debate them? Go take them out. I, I've had a few back and forths on Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but it, but it's dumb. Like it, it's not it's not actually fun for me, right? So when someone comes, when they prove me right, it doesn't make me feel good because it's like, oh, okay, cool. So you actually didn't do any research beyond this point, mm -hmm. and and where like I, I don't have a big enough following to get really off on them being wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just it, it at this level, it's just annoying. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Sorry. I hijacked your platform to uh, to espouse my dis my frustration. That's okay. We're here for you, okay? In a country like uh, a Western neoliberal state like the United States, they still have an authoritarian uh, attitude, especially as it pertains to like going to war or especially as it pertains to shit like this, right? They still are gonna do it regardless, but they try to sell you on it. So they try to like massage the idea that like, Okay, can I, I just, I know that I'm screaming into the void, okay? Authoritarian doesn't mean government does things, okay? That's not what authoritarian, authoritarianism is. And it's not what an authoritarian is, or, or what it does, or whatever, okay? Authoritarianism is characterized by, like, getting rid of your separation of powers and your checks and balances, oftentimes, like, single-party rule, um, sometimes democratic voting, okay? Every time the government does something, that doesn't make it authoritarian, unless you're like a fucking libertarian, okay? Nobody believes this. The government is very authoritarian when it comes to war. No, it's not, motherfucker. We vote for Congress. We vote for the president, right? We, we Like, we have a voice when it comes to this shit, okay? Stop. Don't just use the word authority. Like, dude, people use authoritarian and fascist, and they don't know what either one of these things means. Which is funny, because part of fascism is authoritarianism. Ugh. You came up with it, you know? Like, come on, this is a good idea. You came up with it. You democratically decided that this is good, right? So, that's the main difference. Okay, but what if people are mad? What do they do? They're going to protest? They're going to get mad? And they did. And they did. And it doesn't matter, because then the police come in and they fucking say, shut the fuck up. Dude, police, you, we've, dude, I wish these guys would go protest in like an actual fuck. Like, I want to see you go protest in like fucking Vietnam or go protest in like, uh, in fucking, I don't know what Myanmar is like right now. Or go protest in North Korea, or go protest in China. Go protest where you actually get fucked up by the cops, okay? Not this fucking white privilege shit where you get to go like take pictures of you and your friends and booking for one night and then they kick you out because they don't give a fuck. God, it's so, it's so privileged, so cringed.
Yeah, Belarus or Hong Kong. Because I'm or putting 100 they, well, This process is known as, well, before Beyond the police, height. the process that the media engages in. And like New York Times the, is responsible the, for this as well, like advancing the lie and not being skeptical. <coughs> is called Manufacturing Consent. Yeah, that book that okay. you probably didn't even read. But. Yeah. No, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, you must read it. Manufacturing Consent. Yeah. Oops. Oh, God. Okay, don't. I don't care. I don't like me anymore. This shit. This guy is supposed to be Turkish and he knows we suffer under authoritarian rule and then he uses the word so lightly and Or didn't he say like Pakistan when he was like he said like Pakistan was where Turkey was? I don't remember. I watched it. I was like, what the fuck? I thought you lived in Turkey till you were like 18. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. Just it's whatever, man. Cinema, you can call the US going to war authoritarian. How the fuck can you be a political streamer? Because these guys aren't political streamers. It's just like virtue props or whatever. They just call themselves whatever and don't whatever.